Alright, we found the... We've learned the disc or the washer method for finding volumes of solids for evolution. where the idea was you took your solid of revolution that you wanted to approximate when you estimated it with a stack of washers or disks or cylinders. So you can think of it as being sort of like a wedding cake or a layer cake. Or approximated by one of these. And then we could estimate the volume by adding up the volumes of these pieces. So this would have like a, a little disk, and then a larger disk, and then a big disk in the middle, and then a medium disk, and then a small disk. And now we want to learn a, a new method. Where we're going to approximate our shape with, again, simple shapes that we know the volumes of, but not exactly cylinders, but sort of outsides of cylinders, like a cylinder with a hole drilled out of it. So like a, a pipe with a really thick wall, called the shell method. Using the shells of cylinders. So, like a cylinder with a hole drilled through the middle of it. So here's the idea, is I'm going to again approximate the sphere in a way that first looks very similar. This is approximated by a shape that looks like this. But instead of thinking of this as a stack of cylinders, I'm going to break it up differently. So even though this approximation at first looks very different, Instead of breaking it up into five disks like we did before, I'm going to think of this as one long thin cylinder, like this. And that's like a, a hush puppy inside this bun. It's inside this green cylinder. And that green cylinder itself is sitting outside this outside shell. I've got these nested um, cylindrical shells. So I could break this up as this big long cylinder that's thin. So it's tall but narrow. And then that's nested inside this sort of squatter cylinder that has a hole cut out for the first one. And then finally this short fat cylinder. So we can still find the volumes of these cylindrical shells. So here's the, the information we need. So 
Well, you've got a sort of outer radius and an inner radius. The outer radius for the, the big cylinder and the inner radius for the little cylinder that you've drilled out of it. So here's the picture. So I've got like little r from the center to the inside wall. That's your inside, your smaller radius. You have your big radius, say capital R, from the center to the outside wall. And the, the thickness of the wall is that difference. So that's going to be capital R minus little r. And then we have the, the height of the wall. Right. So the volume of this cylindrical shell is going to be the volume of the big cylinder minus the volume of the little cylinder. So the volume of the big cylinder is going to be pi capital R squared H minus the volume of this little cylinder that we drilled out, which will be pi little r squared h. So this is pi h. This difference of squared is capital R squared minus little r squared. And this factors is a different, this difference of squares factors is capital R plus little r times capital R minus little r. Right. So we said that this is the thickness, so I'm going to call this like T for thickness. So this is T. And if I multiply and divide by 2 here, this is 2 pi capital R plus little r over 2, the thickness T times the height H. And this is the average radius of the cylinder. So this is 2 pi, um, I'm going to call this like r bar, th. So this is the average radius. It's going to be sort of, if you measure from the center to the midpoint of the wall, it's going to be that radius. So this is the average radius of the shell. So we're going to use this formula, 2 pi average radius times the thickness of the shell times the height, when we um, find the volumes of these approximating shells and then add them up to get an approximation for the area. The other way to sort of remember this is if I were to take a saw and saw through this cylinder and then unwrap it, it would look sort of like a rectangular prism. But if I were to unwrap it, and lay it flat, this thickness is going to be capital R minus little r, and this is still going to be the height h. And the if you looked at this from the side, it's going to be a, a trapezoid, right? This inner length comes from this inner circle. It's going to be slightly smaller. Its, um, its circumference is 2 pi little r. And this bottom length is a little longer. It's going to be 2 pi capital R, the circumference of the outer circle. Um, but the, uh, the area of the shape is going to be the area of the base times the height. And the area of a trapezoid is the average width times the, the height t here. So that's another way to see that the volume of the cylinder is going to be 2 pi average radius times the thickness times the height. So next we're going to use this formula to first estimate the volume with the sum of the volumes of these cylindrical shells, and then take a limit as the number of shells grows to infinity.